so important given the fact that she is serving that she comes up with a Love service hold just to reinforce all of the positives that have no doubt been imparted to her in the past couple of days and in the past couple of hours in particular Talked about the height of Sybil Kova. Even though she's not tall, she's very, very short out there. It's the movement that stands her apart from other players. Great court speed. Got to get rid of the nerves here. Looked as though she may have even just half lost sight of that serve. She made a very late decision to move when the ball was heading in her direction. That's the last shot going for the lob. And don't worry about the fact that Sybil Kova will be nervous. Lena, despite the fact that she is a Grand Slam champion, the French Open champion of 2011, and that she has experienced this occasion before, nerves will be there for her just as much, and a couple of indications that they have been. Well, it doesn't matter how experienced you are. I think when you've got a scenario playing 40, 30. someone that you've beaten four times, they've played four times, Lee Na has won on each occasion, once last year in straight sets, and also someone who's ranked well below you. The expectations are so high, and that brings the pressure. Sybil Kova has only ever taken one set yes. of Lina, and that was in Madrid in 2010. Interesting to note that both the men's and women's finals have records where the underdog has not beaten the favourite. Well, it's unfortunate that a round of applause accompanies the double fault. So she did a good job to claw her way back after being down love 30. But now, a second fight required. Edgy play from both players out here. Just trying to settle in. for the winner rather than just engage in the rally and she gets the benefit Lena. Advantage Lee. Well this is what Lena will be trying to do throughout this match. She has more power. She's really pinning Sybil Kova behind the baseline and then unloading with a flatter shot. She'll be going after them. It's the way she plays. Break point number two.
two double faults in the first game. We, we expected nerves and we got them. And she has the repertoire in her game to do that. Certainly 15. a lot more speed and power on the serve. And off both sides. It's worth noting that Lena has actually had her serve broken more times than Sybil Kova in the path to the final. Lee's been broken 12 times, Sybil Kova just the nine. And of those 12, six of them came against Safarova in that game where she nearly made an early exit in the third round. That's what she is inclined to do. She, in years gone by, in the past incarnation, she was inclined to try and finish rallies really quickly. That's something Carlos Rodriguez has perhaps just massaged a little bit in her game. Because her ground strokes are fairly flat, they are higher risk. It's not a safe game that she plays, but he's certainly tempered the way she goes about it. Much for the back end, it's her strength. That's beautiful. And she needs plenty of those if she's going to be operating at the same first serve percentage. She's only landed two of five in this game. Well, the backhand's the side you'll see Lena try and take. If she has a choice, she won't run around to hit it on the forehand so much. But the forehand of Lena has improved so much of late. More consistent. Well, that may be the difference between the two players. Half chances are going to be so important. Lily, two games to look. Sybil Kova had half a chance because she fought herself back from Love 30 in her first game. Lino down 15-30, fights her way out of it and consolidates the break. One thing you know, at sport at any level, you have to take your chances when you get to the absolute top of the mountain. That goes without saying. with saying that uh, Dominica is just missing too many at the moment. So support grew there. Her, her boyfriend, who she's engaged to, her physiotherapist, trainer. <laughs> Trying to see whether a coach is up there. He doesn't usually sit in the player box normal. there. It's quite, has been superstitious. I think he's there in the back row. Even superstitious about talking during tournaments, but he's broken that vow this week. Man, we're talking about Maciej Liptak. He's done a great job with her. 
Well, that's the danger. If she's required to rely on the second delivery, and if it's only going to be 136, more often than not, Lena's going to be teeing off on them. She certainly will, and, and that's not a bad second serve for Dominica. Her average second serve of the tournament has been 128, so that's going to spell danger. Lina has to control herself, not overdo things, press too hard. Well, just at the moment, it's her unforced errors that are keeping Sybil Cobra in it. She hasn't come up with a winner yet, and Lee's come up with five unforced errors. Well, she missed that one, but some better hitting there from Sybil Cova. Her strength is her movement around the court, her speed, her feistiness. But don't think she's just a defender. She can also attack, explode into the ball. This is a must hold for the Slovakian. She can't possibly afford to go down two breaks in the first three games. Not yet. Good defensive stuff. That was a tough point. Yes. Sybil Cove is struggling to stay in it. Digging the ball back. And then when she got a chance, disguising that forehand down the line. Good positive stuff from Sybil Kova. Now she's got a spring in her step. Yeah. Starting to settle. Thank you. from the racket of Lee Na. A groan of appreciation from the crowd. Sybil Cover really annoyed with herself here for not getting that ball deep enough into the strength of the Lee Na backhand. It was always going to be big trouble. That one put away at 133 kilometres an hour. When you consider the serve was 126, <laughs> that's got a bit of mustard on it. Settled to a degree, but the pressure is unrelenting from the other end. Uh, Lena knowing that her very best opportunity of making the statement is to make it from the word go, and that's what she's done so far. Second chance for the number four seed to go to a three love lead. Thank 
advantage, Sibukova. No doubting the fact that it is a pro Lina crowd, but Tomonika will have her supporters by virtue of the fact that she goes in as underdog, and the Aussie crowds love the underdog. Yay. That is a mighty big hold, and you can tell from her reaction as well. She avoids the double break and hangs in there, but Lee Na with the advantage leads 2 1 in the first set. Lina's quickest serve of the championship so far is 177. She generally averages high 150s to low 160s. Nets. Nets. First serve. First serve. And her first serve percentage has fluctuated wildly. She's been as low as 60 and as high as 80 against Makarova. That's a really good deep second serve. 15 on. One of the big differences between the two players is the quality of the second serve. We are definitely superior in that department. Decisive call from Carolyn Kramer in the chair. And Lena, hearing that it was so decisive, not bothering to challenge. Well, that's just quality. 30 15. Telling yourself that's more like it. It's a trademark shot. The backhand down the line for a winner. Tough shot to hit, but she produces that regularly in her matches. Well, she feels like she's going to be lucky out here. Oh, that's so good. After that tough time against Lucy Safarova, saving the match point, she really has lifted her game and played so well. She talks about when you have a tough time, you pass it, and that's when you get lucky. Comfortable service game to either player so far. That has to help Lena settle down. Here's a look at the way she's been placing her shots throughout the entire championships. Pretty good depth on her shots there, 47% deep in the court, and a number of those 45% area shots would be angles. Just about got the whole court covered there. Deep. Just about. Really launches herself up into that serve. Try and get a few extra centimetres into the air. Just by being here tonight, Lena joins a very selective 
club. She joins Chris Evert, Martina Navratilova, Yvonne Corley and Margaret Court as players who are 30 years plus to reach an Australian Open final. This is just what the doctor ordered for the 24-year-old. 40 dollars. Just to get yourself through a service game where you don't have to worry about any stress. And these returns from Lena are really going astray. Three double faults already. Two of them coming in that very first game where she was broken. She has settled, no doubt about that. Now the stress levels are being raised a little bit. 14-7. Well, this was looking like a comfortable hold of serve. So far, she has had one winner and 12 unforced errors. Dominika Sibylkova. just shows how much emphasis she is placing on these holds of serve. Lee Na, maybe the damage has already been done Leeds. with the break. Leeds 3-2. Three two. That is great stuff from the Slovakian. She called the tune in that rally. She was the one making the play. Well, this is how she wants to play. Love Seven it. Ks quicker the Lina backhand throughout the match so far, but right here it was all Sybil Kova. She was the one putting the pressure on Lina, forcing the shorter ball. The forehand of Lena is such an important thing to watch in this match. After her third round tussle with Lucy Safarova, before that, her forehand, she was producing a whole heap of errors off it. But then in the last three matches to get to here, the forehand has come together. It started to really work well for her. And truly, it's truly a barometer of how confident she is out there, how the forehand is performing. Here's another one of those half chances that we were talking about. She had against Lee Nair in her first service game. There's Carlos Rodriguez. He's really 
helped Lina with improving her game, making changes even after the age of 30. Knows all about guiding a play to the championship here in Australia, having previously been in charge of Justine Enner. And now it's Lee's turn to get the double fold 15, at a critical time. And it brings up two break points. The first opportunities that Sybil Cobra has had to get the match back on an even keel. So we're back where we started. And just for the moment, Three games it's the 24-year-old who's got the momentum. Well, she's been handed that momentum back. Lena really crumbling there. Going to the strings of a racket. It's probably her husband's fault. Probably, it she's usually is. She's paid out on him so much over the years here. He's just gone running up the stairs here with rackets to go and get some different string tensions. You better hurry. 15 long. I know she's unhappy with the strings, but really she's not hitting through the ball. I think she looks incredibly tense out here. Steering the forehand. These are pretty heavy shots from Lee Nair and Sybil Kova just moves so well and sends it back within centimetres of the baseline. Terrific depth. She's getting in the groove now. Terrific serve. Well, then the reply would have hit a box about 15 centimetres around in the corner. Playing with a lot of precision now and her confidence is building. It is unfortunate that there are sections of the crowd who are applauding double faults, but I guess a lot of people who tend to come to Grand Slam finals are not exactly the people who go to tennis matches all the time. Yeah, yeah. That is a real indicator that the tide has turned. Sybil Kova now very much in the driver's seat. Even though we're on serve, she's got the upper hand. It's 4 3. Well done. And this is where the experience, Karen, is going to be so important for Lena because as much as it feels as though her opponent does have the edge at the moment, she won't panic. Well, with a service first serve percentage of it was 13 percent before that point there's reason to panic on serve if she can't land a few here but two in a row now and the first serve making a tremendous difference to her campaign 
So that's 18 service points now, and she's only managed to land it four times. There it is again, another forehand error. It's 11 on the forehand side, 18 unforced errors in all. So I said, I really think it's a barometer of her game and, and that's how uneasy she's feeling out there. Well, in three of her six lead up matches, she didn't make 18 unforced errors for the match. Net for self. Another good first delivery. Pretty comprehensive hole just when she needed to. Four games of. And boy, did she need that. Really recovering on the first serve score. Doing very well with the first serves and also steadying off the forehand side. Really getting the feet going well, hitting through her shots. And looking good again. Sybil Cover has been able to up the ante in her last two service games. She's only lost three points in those two games, but she can't afford a relapse here. Otherwise, the first set might be done and dusted pretty quickly. I know there's some level. shoes I'd like to be in out there. Dominicans. When you think about the different expectations on the players, Lena really with everything to lose out here, going in the overwhelming favourite. Dominica, well, she can come out swinging here and give it her all. Been in great form and she's just got to be positive out here. That was only 115 kilometres an hour, that second serve, and it got what it deserved. 15 on. Well, she's only won three of 11 points when she's had to rely on second serve, and that is going to be an ongoing pro uh, problem for her. Not 
Certainly not keeping her emotions under control here, and controlling the forehand. Well, here comes the sliding doors moment of the final. Four all, 30 all. This could have a big say in it. 14-30. Yet again, Lena overcooking it on the baseline. from Sybil Carver, but good wheels from Lee Nair. Juice. Thought the surprise tactic might have worked here for a moment, but Lee Nair very quick to see it. Moves forward and, again, control the name of the game, putting that into the corner. frustrated Lena and it's showing in her body language she's not confident about the tension that she's got in her racket and that sort of thing can get inside your head 20 unforced errors Double faults now for Sybil Cova. Many of them at inappropriate times, even though there's never a good time to do it. Lena's had two at inappropriate moments as well. Nerve endings jangling in the final. going to go and she has the chance of making Advantage. massive inroads into Sybil Cova late in this first set. That's why we're seeing the double faults from Sybil Cova because the second serve is really being dealt with severely by Lena. Break point for the number four seed to go to a 5-4 lead. I cannot believe it. Yes. Well, the forehand really letting her down. the way of the underdog. It's like a broken record with Lee Nash. She just can't land that forehand inside the lines at the moment, and that allows Sybil Cova to hold the lead 5 4, first set. And that's the point that I keep coming back to, Karen. This is an un Lee Nash like 15, performance. Uh, if she can just wipe out 25% of those errors, she gets back on top again. Exactly, with shots like this. 
She's got the power. When she flattens it out, she can hit through Sybil Kova. I haven't often seen Lena play like this in the early stages of big matches. I've seen it on occasions towards the end as she's trying to close a match out or fails to close a match out. And the quality second serve. Doubt that Lena would share this viewpoint. 40, 50. Maybe the key to her winning the final is losing the first set because in the two finals that she's lost, she's won the first set. I don't think she'll be working to that game plan somehow. That was an excellent return of serve from Sybil Kova. Serve wasn't that bad, it was 1 6 2. 40, 30. And the direction was okay. And she hit it sweetly. Yay. First ace of the match to either player. And now we're at crunch time. Five games all. Five games all. Lovely rhythm on that serve. And Sybil Kova will need some good rhythm on hers here. Desperately needs to land some first serves. Only won three of 13 second serve points. Her first serve percentage, though, is vastly superior to Lee Nars, 71 to 41. Three shots in the rally, and it was Lena who was first to blink in the longest rally of the match. She's so much more comfortable when she can hit with power. Decision. Fifteen all. It's making her husband smile. Sibukova so gets this one in at 147, and Lena just uses the power of it. Nice swing through that forehand. This is the game for Dominika Sivilkova. She's transgressed six times now with double faults. And Lena knows that there is a big opening here at the most critical stage. 
winner of the first set naturally with a huge advantage, even though three of the past four have gone to a decider. Another long testing point, and this time it's Lena who comes up trumps. Playing some patient tennis and getting good depth with the forehand of Sabukova. And then hitting this backhand at 129 clicks. So here's the moment. Two break points for a 6-5 lead. The resistance from Dominika Sibylkova has been admirable, but the experience of Lee Na comes to the fore. We've been going nearly an hour. Lee In a moment, she'll serve to take the first set. Five. Starting to hit the ball a lot more cleanly now. This is back to the old Lee Na. 15 long. Yeah, steady as she goes in this point, not going for too much. Playing well within the margins. She had that point. 15 on. Was in charge after a really good first serve. Again, just overcooking it, going for a little bit too much. Amazing to think that it is 11 years since we've had a tiebreaker in the women's final here. It was back in 2003. First set, Serena Williams when she beat her sister. Could be heading to one here. 15, 13. That was a nice slider out wide, and Sybil Cover doing a great job, not only getting a racket on it, but getting it back to cause some problems for Lena. Momentum on that one. Punching up another backhand winner. Well, it was a brave choice, the drop shot. A very brave choice at that stage. 30-40. Played off, didn't it? Bit of variety. Just when Lee Na at least expected it. Didn't quite go forward onto that volley.
break point to go to the tie break. Seems to be a little bit more surety about the Chinese Jesus. superstar now. That shot there really took Sybil Kova out of court. She wasn't able to able to do enough with the backhand. Herself into all sorts of trouble. Sybil Kova's 18th unforced uh, error of the set. Three. Sees Lena arrive at set point. We've been going exactly one hour. There have been finals in recent years that haven't lasted this long. In total. Well, that's her way. She goes for the lines. Sometimes it works, sometimes not. Turn from the pocket rocket. Advantage, Sibukova. On a 161 serve, really pushed Lena back in the court. And the knockout blow. Second opportunity for Sibukova to take it to a tie break. fitting after the ebbs and flows that we've seen in the final so far one hour and two minutes in we still haven't been able to break the deadlock six games all tie break both players receive one additional challenge two breaks of serve apiece in the opening set not much in it with their respective tie break records Keeping double faults out of the equation is going to be imperative for both players. One zero, Lee. Lena calmly dealing with that serve. A lot of composure here, Lena. An early days in the tie break. Very steady. That is an excellent return, setting up the forehand up the line. 
2-1 lead. That's what Sibulkova does so well. She really moves the ball around the court. That one taking Lena wide. She's able to really move forward onto it. Take the time away from Lee. Great body language Thank you. from Sybil Kova. Plays the drive volley with a lot of confidence. A lot of noise in the middle of that rally as well. 3-1 lead. Total Ladies focus. And and as a courtesy to the players, please do not call out during the rally. Thank Great you. defense from Sybil Kova, but Lena up to coming forward. You had to really concentrate hard there. Both the players did with the noise in the middle of the point. Three of the first four points against the server. And now make that four of the first five. Four, one, lead. And it's a long way back from here for the 24 year old. You mentioned the word panic before Karen it's something that Lena hasn't done despite the fact that things have not been going the way that she wanted them to go she's remained for the most part largely cool in that exterior and what a serve to come up with there beautifully placed Five, one, All about the composure here, and she's certainly showing that. And as well as Dominika Sibulkova has played, it's not going to rule out the victory if she drops the first set, but it is going to make it so much more difficult. A mighty big prize on offer here, and for Lee Nair, it's just two points away. Lee's challenging the call on the right baseline. The ball was called in. Well, she's got a few to play with here. I thought the ball might have hit the line. Well, despite having them to play with, she's got to be sure that this is out to stop the point. So an error of judgment from Lee Nart. Six millimetres have hit the Five, line by. Five, two, Lee. This gives Sybil Cover a couple of serves to get it back potentially to 5-4. And then we get into sweaty palms territory. Tremendous stuff. The volley from Lee No was outstanding, and the reply from Sybil Cover was even better. Five, three. Wonderful point here, and Sybil Cover really showing her wonderful movement there. Lee Na not sure which way to go. 
She's able to whip up through this forehand. Slides into it. That's a big point. Six three. Doesn't guarantee it for Lena, but now she's got a bit of breathing room again. So she had a set point, remember, in the 12th game. And now she has three more. minutes it takes to break the deadlock is Lena on the way to her first championship in Melbourne well after the way she finished off that set perhaps they don't need the restrings things are starting to look better for Lena she takes the first 7-6 of outrageously good returns from Sibokova. She's feisty and she's making a real statement here, saying she's not going to go away after losing that first set. If you were Macho Libtag, Sybil uh, Kova's coach, if you went out there, if you had the opportunity of going out there and whispering in her ear, probably the thing you'd say would be, keep doing what you're doing. Stay positive. Take the chances. I don't think she knows the meaning of the word negativity. Yeah. One of the things Carlos Rodriguez says that he's had to improve with Lena is not so much the technique, although they've worked on that as well, but more the resolve and the emotional endurance that Lena shows out there. Lina finding the line in that point, and they're very quick to move forward and finish the point off. 40, 30. It's here, very attacking shot. There's only a differential of Frustrated. two Second in the winners to unforced errors ratio. Well left. 15. Got more the physique of a, a gymnast. Power packed body. There's that second serve percentage, only 26% one.
In perpetual motion out there. Energy, one of the gifts she says she has. Oh, that's a wild serve from so Sybil Kova. Put that one out of her mind. The double fault count really hurting up. Now the warning bells are starting to sound. Sixteen shot rally and Lena really having the upper hand from the return on, pushing Sybil Cover around. It's hard work when she has to rely on the second serve. Well, that's the issue. I don't know if you can feel it, PD, but that crushing pressure when she yeah. misses the first serve, it's, it's just all around Sibulkova. Well, it's one of two things, isn't it? It's going to get spanked if it gets over there at 125, mostly. And then there's the danger of the double faults, which have been hurting her so much. Break point. And the break comes, and it comes early. Frustration from Sybil Cova. Understandably so. 27 of the last 29 Australian Open women's finals have been won by the player who's won the first set. And the two exceptions were the ones that Lee Nair lost. Isn't that amazing? So a valuable thing, that momentum of a first set in hand in a Grand Slam final. Oh, beautifully played, Lena. Looking much more self-assured out here. Thirty love. And these days, a lot more comfortable around the net, starting to trust her volleying. And if Sybil Cobra is having trouble with her serve, Lee Nair's delivery seems to be getting stronger. That one at 166, that was her quickest serve of the match. Equaling her fastest of the, uh, sorry, Sybil Cobra's fastest of the tournament. Lee Nair's 177. It's 
the first serve and volley attempt. Good to try something different. And to try it on a 40 love point, probably worth a go. Oh, she must be feeling quite confident. Something she's been trying to get into her game. One thing practicing it though, and another executing in a match, especially a high pressure match. Well, that was set up by another exceptional return of serve from Sybil Kova. before she was up a set and a break against Kim yeah, Clijsters in 2011 and we know what happened then but just for the moment all smooth sailing for Lee Na. she leads three loves second Lee set three games three games to love. oh perfect shot Simple there was challenging the goal on the right baseline the ball was called in Let's see if Hawkeye agrees certainly struck sweetly it's Sipulkova right. She was on top of it. 15 long. Talking about the fact earlier that three of the past four finals have gone to a decider. On the other side of the coin, there have been three six love sets in the past nine finals. And someone in the crowd wanting to make it four. Bagel, who was the call. A bit unkind. Superb rhythm on the backhand. Really timing it sweetly. Well, she gets a break point here. It's essentially match point, you would think. A double break. She's on the attack now. That break point does come her way. And this is almost to put the final away. This for a four love lead and surely there would be no coming back from that. That is just what she has been doing. The double break is there, and she has one hand on the Daphne Akers Memorial Cup. Well, what aggressive play from Lee Na. Here's a look at her return position throughout the match. She's made 81% of them, which is very good. Second serve, she's 
sort of a, up to a metre inside the court. First serve, though, she's back on the left court, forward a little more on the right when they're sliding out wide. But she's returned very well today, especially as the match has gone on and on the second serve, doing so much damage. Sybil Cover was 26% of points won on the second serve in the first set. She is 0% in this set. A lot 15. That just shows you how much more positive Lena's been on those returns. She eliminated yeah. the errors that were happening earlier. And Sybil Cover, I think, just feeling that she was under the gun every moment with her serve. This is not the time to tighten up. Long no. Fault. Double fault and a, and a missed forehand. And that's why the double break, I think, was so important. That one break, and it's still in the balance a bit. Two breaks, she gives herself a bit of breathing space, but she doesn't want to put herself in a position where she needs to use that breathing space. It's headed in that direction in this fifth game. He's coming to the net 12 times tonight, Lena, and is getting a pass mark. She's won seven of them. Sybil Kova's come in three times and has won every one. She's always been such an aggressive baseline up. She wins so many points like that. But she's been introducing a lot more net play, trying to get forward in the court. And when it first happened, she said to a coach, well, why do I, want, why do I need to do this? I can play on the baseline for 100 years. But it's certainly helping improve her game. From love 30 to a game point for a five love lead. It's been a power pack performance late in the first set and for just about the majority of the second set, which has only been in progress 21 minutes. on earth is getting ready to celebrate she's nearly there Carlos Rodriguez with a nod of acknowledgement Lena leads five love in the second set but it's just been that sort of momentum swing in favor of Lena everything is starting to go right for her now this is the play that we expected to come out from the word go just going from strength to strength in this second set. Backhand continuing to fire. can do no wrong at present. Sybil Kova has been brave, but she's got no resistance left to this. Well, there's not much she can do about this. Incredible shot making from Lena. Playing confidently, positively. With the prize in sight. In this second set, 22 points to 10. Generally speaking, in this circumstance, that ball would fall on Sybil Kova's side of the net. 
At least the tennis gods are smiling on her just once. talked about the importance of the moment when Lee Na made this Asia Pacific's Grand Slam made the final back here in 2011 what a momentous achievement it would be for her to win what in some ways is effectively her home Grand Slam if you could call it that in Melbourne in 2014 It's been a brave fight from the Slovakian, but still one more to defend. The losses of 2011 and 2013 are consigned to history now. Third time lucky for Lena. She wins the championship in Melbourne and becomes a two-time Grand Slam champion. She is the queen in 2014. Um, I, I don't, I don't really know where to start. You know, this is. Uh, these were just uh, fantastic two weeks uh, of my life, and I think I'm going to cry. <laughs> so I would start with my team. Um, thank you very much for supporting me, my, especially my coach, my, my boyfriend, my physiotherapist my friends in the box and my fitness coach at home, he's not in here, but, uh, and of course, my parents, they're watching from home, so hello everybody in North Slovakia. <laughs> you know, this means a lot for our country and I'm happy I can be the one who is, you know, um, um, here for Slovakia and, and I, I would like to congratulate to Lina, she had a great tournament, and and uh, she deserved to be here as a as a winner. And uh, and I want to also thanks to Chrissy for making my preseason in December in her academy. That's so great. So I can be also here. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and I would like to thanks to all the sponsors. You know, this is uh, uh, now for me is my favorite. Um, Grand Slam. <laughs> <laughs> you know, all the people who work for the tournament, it's, um, it's just great, and I, and I know it makes um, so, so, it takes so much energy. So, you know, that's, I think, everything from me. Thank you very much, guys. Congratulations, Dominica. And now to our champion, Lee Na. I know that uh, there are lucky numbers in China, but we have a saying here, third time lucky. It was the third time that Li Na's been in the Australian Open final in the last four years. Just eight days ago, she saved a match point in the third round, just the fourth woman to do that at the Australian Open. And she now adds the Australian Open to the championship at Roland Garros. So she's a two-time Grand Slam champion. Has there been a more popular winner? Li Na.
know, finally I can get him, get, get her. Last, last two times was, was very close. So anyway, so start now. Uh, first, congratulations for Dominic. Have very good tournament here. Uh, also for her team. So best wish for the future. Uh, yeah, now I have to thank my team. Max, agent, make me rich. Thanks a lot. <laughs> uh, 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 my physio, Alex, when, when we were working around like four years, I never got injured. Of course, last year at the finals, uh, we, we couldn't come down, so. Yeah, it's not your four, it's my four, so. So you're doing a very good job. Uh, <laughs> thanks for Carlos. Uh, always believe me, I can do well, uh, especially in this winter training. I think we are working so hard, and finally I get it. Thanks so much. Uh, okay, now, of course, my husband, even, even famous in China. Thanks for him give up everything, just traveling with me to be my hitting partner, fix the drink and fix the racket. So he do a lot of job. <laughs> so thanks a lot. You are a nice guy. <laughs> and and also you are so lucky. Find me. Okay, uh, now I would like to say thanks for all the sponsors to make a fantastic tournament. You know, I have to say again, this is my favorite Grand Slam. I was so happy I can win the title here. So I cannot wait and looking forward to come back. And also, no, I know you guys think I'm talking too much, but last thing. Thanks for the crowd come to supporting us. So thank you so much.